like, did I pick this up because I was just having a bad day? and think that it was gonna be something to play with. I don't know. But after reading this, I am like, it is that serious. And this is why Joyce is really that girl. I didn't back to my channel the danny you know it's your girl danny and first video of 2024 i'm gonna be doing a book review on battlefield of the mind i'm gonna drop just some of the key things that she said in the book that has just shifted my mindset and i feel like has better prepared me for this year so you know the drill if you feel the vibe subscribe and then we're just gonna <laughs> And get into it. One of the things I really appreciate about the book is it's not just fluff. She is giving scripture. She's giving her own um, life situation that she's had to apply it to and learn through um, and then practical ways to really like implement that. Okay and she breaks it down into three parts. Um, the importance of the mind, conditions of the mind, and then wilderness mentalities. In the first section about the importance of the mind, she just talks about how it's so important to think about what you are thinking about and really make sure that your thoughts are lining up with the Word of God. So um, to the scripture that she put in here was Matthew 8:13. It shall be done for you as you have believed. So positive minds produce positive lives negative minds produce negative lives so with her talking about how thoughts have creative ability um kind of descriptions that she said that stuck with me was how when you think a thought um, maybe you think about a scenario when someone is talking about you or doing something and you start to get angry your face starts to get mad you're like yeah if this girl says that to me i'm gonna say this and that if i get to that party and that person's there i'm gonna act a fool Bob, like you start you know you just like oh I'm getting pissed already and it really does start to affect you in the moment and that was a wake-up call to me because I have the ability to stew on things I have the ability to create a whole scenario that ain't never happened I got comebacks in my back pocket for if somebody crosses me on a bad day you know I have that and so that was something that was a wake-up call for me to just even if I have a bad thought not to stew on it like to kind of rein it back in because why am I upset and bothered and nothing nothing has even happened you know now into the meat and the gravy like the meat and potatoes of this book for me was really the conditions of the mind because if you don't know the conditions of the mind you just think stuff is normal especially when it's been that way so long so if you're just anxious you're just like I'm just an anxious person if you're just um you know doubtful you're like oh i'm just skeptical you know you just adopt that as your baseline your average the always been always will be type of thing and so when she started calling out some of these conditions i said oh my god i've been under attack this whole time and i didn't even know it okay let me lay them out this chapter uh chapter eight when my mind is normal this is what really got me um, so she goes into showing you what is normal, what a normal mind is like, and what an abnormal mind is like. Because you do need a baseline so that you have something to weigh your thoughts with and kind of like a scale. So um, one thing she was saying is that a mind that is too busy is abnormal, okay? And I feel like that's a big thing in today's day and age because with i mean with social media with the internet with everything there's just such an influx of information you know on tiktok which i love me some tiktok one minute i'm like oh my god somebody save this stray that's out here in north carolina okay and then there's a disaster and something's happy like my mind sometimes is just busy so she pointed to isaiah 26 3 which said you will guard him 
and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind is stayed on you because he commits himself to you leans on you and hopes confidently in you with the mind being normal and abnormal what she was saying is that a peaceful mind is what's normal if you if your mind is always busy which is easy it's always busy gotta do this this and that gotta go 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 that's not normal that's actually an attack because satan wants your mind to be so busy and so overworked and overloaded that you know and bogged down by wrong thoughts that it can't be free and available to the holy spirit working for you like how are you gonna hear god's voice speaking to you when your mind is just so busy like next major bomb drop because sis was dropping them all over this book the second condition of the mind that is abnormal is a wandering and wondering mind an inability to concentrate she said indicates a mental attack and so here's here's the part that really gripped me and rode me in because i do have a big imagination um and i do let my mind just wander sometimes from place to place and she was saying you know the devil knows that a person cannot discipline himself to complete a project if he cannot discipline his mind and keep it on what he is doing and i was like man how can god give you all these promises and show you all these plans visions and dreams of things that he has for you and wants you to do and you not even about to complete them because you just lack the mental discipline to complete them it was a lot more about the importance of disciplining your mind and being able to focus and being able to um you know make sure that you're thinking the right thoughts like that was really more so what it is about so, for me the passive mind actually got me she was saying that um uh, first peter 5 8 teaches that we must be alert cautious and active and having just your thought being your thoughts being empty wait you're an empty space like whoever has a passive mind does not resist these wrong thoughts that often take them as his own so i would assume a passive mind is more like you kind of are just not being like she said in in you know like the word says in peter 5 8 about being alert cautious and active like you are not taking it as your assignment and being alert about it and ready to you know take thoughts captive and so when the enemy sends you wrong thoughts you are just taking them as your own and you're not like actively fighting against them and that is also bad um and she was in this chapter just really emphasizing the need to maintain your will um, in multiple areas of your life. So she's saying when a believer is inactive in any area in which he has capacity, oh sorry, cap capability or talent, that particular area begins to atrophy or become immobilized. The longer he does nothing, the less he wants to do anything. Example, physical exercise. So this one really made me think as well because okay the bible calls us to be alert cautious active the bible is very much like you should do and if you are not alert cautious and active in your mind you do you do you will take the thoughts that somebody says about you that you hear whatever you'll just take them as your own because you're not being alert to recognize hey that's not a good thought and hey that didn't come for me you're not being alert enough to catch those things and to cast them down like the bible says and so i was like okay that makes sense but also just pass passivity and not maintaining your will in areas that you have the um you know capability to is also an issue because any area that you don't maintain your will in will atrophy and like the less you want to do and i'm like you know right you know what joyce you're right you're right girl that passivity really opened my eyes because once again i'm thinking what haven't i done that god asked me to do because i just have lacked that discipline well, another chapter that she included is of course about anxious or worried minds which I mean, 
I'm sure that most of us have dealt with some sort of anxiety or worry like turn on the news and I'm sure you'll get enough of that so she was talking about how worry is such an attack because it keeps you too worried and bound up in your mind and also because God gives us peace and he gives us rest so you when you're worried and you're anxious you never get to experience the rest that is a gift from God I just really think that reading this book paved the way to have a healthier thought life for me because it's so everything is just so easy sounding but I feel like a lot of self-help books a lot of sometimes sermons and things they're saying some they're saying some of what she's saying but I think I just needed more practicality and kind of more what am I looking for and what more I guess I guess I needed more of a standard of things to weigh against and I kind of I'm I'm very logical so I'm like well what's the problem with this though because just telling me to do something and saying hey it's good for you versus telling me this is why it's good for you and this is why it's bad for you is kind of more so what I need so I do think she gave a very good um standard of why you need to be you know careful with the way that you think here are some of the normal ways that your mind should be working abnormal ways that your mind should be working so you can see for yourself clearly where you fall in getting where you fit in and what you need to be working on and then she also goes through some of the wilderness wilderness mentalities that people are stuck in and if you don't i feel like if nobody paints the picture for you it's hard to see yourself in the picture as well so i think this book obviously is called battlefield of the mind but to be honest did i really think that it was that big of a deal i did not i didn't really grow up watching joyce meyer i know who she is and i know a lot of people um enjoy her teaching and, and things of that nature but she i know she's basically um talks a lot about living a victorious lifestyle and i just i just left it at that but now i understand why she can help people to live a victorious lifestyle because she is really taking things down to a granular level of showing people how to get free in areas honestly i thought i was doing a, a pretty decent job in um maturing and just like guarding my mental space i thought i was but you can always do better and until you have like i said a standard of abnormal and good and all of these things it's hard you wouldn't know you just don't know what you don't know so i feel like this is a book that i am definitely going to keep on my shelf i have highlighted a lot in here i slowly read this book and it is a book that i would recommend it is a book that i will continue to reread because she just goes through so much in here and i do think that it's gonna take time to implement but I, I think it's worth it so if you you know are in need of kind of just a fresh up even if you think you don't need it if you're trying to just have a more i feel like a joyous um year and you need to kind of let some old baggage or things go or just you want to just do better I think this is a great book to start with so let me know if you pick it up and what you enjoyed about it if anything stood out to you and shocked you like it shocked me um, definitely let me know and leave some comments down below and I'll see you guys next video